What's good, yo? We back with another video. We got unfortunate news coming out the Sugar Hill side of Harlem. It's being reported that Ida Baby has passed away at the young age of 17. There's a lot of rumors going around. And a lot of the rumors that are going around that he took his own life. To take your life at the young age of 17 just goes to show that there's another side to these drill rappers. A lot of drill rappers don't want to show that side to them, that they're vulnerable, that they have emotions. When stuff like this happens, when their homie passes away or they got to look over their shoulder, they never talk about that. And I think it just goes to show that these drill rappers are really human and they struggle with mental health. They went through a lot in their life. What they talking about in music is stuff that's not supposed to be normalized. Them talking about all these events that happen or things that they've witnessed through their day-to-day -day life, that's not supposed to be normal. But I think the internet and social media has made that normal to us. We watch these movies, we watch other people in other states rap about this and record this. It's made it normal to us. And it's not just Drew rappers that don't like to show that side. It's us as men. We don't like to show that side at all because we think that makes us soft or we don't like opening up to people. And I think that's a real problem in this day and age. There's a lot of light and there's a lot of dark spots on Sugar Hill right now. We've seen a lot of passings this year, but we've seen a lot of rappers come up from Sugar Hill and doing crazy numbers and get into the bag. But E. Baby himself signed a deal earlier this year. I seen him get a crib and talk about getting his mama crib. And he was able to get a deal this year while also coming up and getting millions of views at 14, 15 years old, years and years back. And I think one of the biggest reasons the Bronx drill when Harlem drill went so crazy last year or two is e Baby started a lot of that. I don't want to take anything away from the people in the Bronx respectfully, but he was one of the first rappers from Harlem in the Bronx to make drill music and make that type of music. And he's one of the reasons Sugar Hill had that light on them, that spotlight on them from the start. And one of the reasons I think a lot of rappers from Sugar Hill are thriving right now. I don't want to take anything away from other artists, but he started a lot of that, making hits at 14 to 15 years old making drill classics new york drill classics not just harlem or bronx drill classics new york drill classics and i don't want to speak on this point too much but we all know the effect of this we all know that he had oppositions and we know what type of music that i make after his passing and it's very unfortunate and this is one of the reasons drill is corny now because he didn't die in no oppositions no one slid on him and did anything to him he's gonna get dissed for whatever reason and one of the reasons bronx drill gets super corny and drill in general just gets corny nowadays because if you die to police they're smoking on you if you passed away to self-inflicting wounds they're still smoking on you oh you got shot in your leg they're smoking on your leg like how can you smoke on a limb that makes no sense like Joe just gets more and more corny every single day but yeah there's a dark cloud over drill the last couple of days i don't know what's going on i've heard a lot of people getting shot i've seen somebody on another side get shot by the police and passed away there's a drill rapper that i know that's in critical condition right now i don't really want to talk too much on it but i'm praying for everybody and condolences to eat out babies friends family all that good stuff and just check up on your people send that one text how your day going how you doing that can change a lot that can stop somebody from pulling that trigger and taking their own life and i just hope we can all just learn from this situation everybody's human and they all live lives and have emotion at the end of the day but i'm gonna get up through y'all comment your favorite eat out moment your favorite eat out song keep it positive down there just the r.i.p keep it simple but i'm gonna get up through appreciate y'all for rocking with me keep doing y'all keep doing me be safe stay dangerous good luck